Hey, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Saints Row 4. And as you can see, I have Megan Fox here. I created this character again because the first video I did got, I had to delete it because of YouTube. And there's a, another part on here, but it's focusing more on the story and not on the actual character. So I created an outfit from Jennifer's Body, that movie I haven't really seen yet, but I just went with some pictures and I kind of created it the best I could. And I kind of got it pretty good because the gray around the collar, I don't know if you can see that. That's like the exact gray, so I don't know. It's it's pretty detailed from what you can actually do in this game. And I have some other ones right here, but let me just show this off in the light for a second. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And as you can see, you may notice that I have the daytime unlocked, which is really good. And now they're going to attack me. That's because I beat the game. And since I beat the game, hold on. I can just do this and make the police go away. So now they just, they just go away, which is really, really helpful. Especially when I'm making videos, because the cops always attack me when I'm making videos for some reason. I don't know why it happens like that. I always just, I don't know. But anyway, um, let's see. That's the first outfit I did. Um, hold on, wardrobe. And here's the second one I did. And they're attacking me again. Like I said, hold on, let me do this real quick. Let me try to hurry up before they get me. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, because this game, for some reason, is really mean to the color orange. I don't know what it is about that color, but they don't do it right. Let me go in the building so I don't get... Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is, um... This is the, from the Transformers. You probably read it in the thing already. But this is the brightest orange I could do with this tank top. They had another tank top, but the color was perfect, but it, it was wrong, so I had to do this. Like the design was wrong, but this is perfect design, but the color's wrong, and there's no way I can fix that. Sorry about that, but you know it's it's pretty decent. And if you want this, you can get this from the uh, Nobody Loves Me store. This isn't. This looks like this would be in the Zen store, but it's not in the Zen store. And I have one more. I did this video kind of short notice. I'm downloading Bioshock 2 right now. And Borderlands 2, since everyone recommended those games, I'm probably not going to do videos of them, but, you know, because they're like two years old, or not two years, I think a year old, and I didn't want to wait for the game in a year edition, which comes out in four days for Borderlands 2, so I just went ahead and got it. And, let's see. And the last one I did might seem lazy at first, but it's really not. Hold on. Uh, this is the GQ cover for, well, GQ, duh, of uh, Megan Fox's GQ cover, and I think I got it pretty spot on. You can't tell the detail in the bottom part until you, like, actually go look at the picture. It's actually, like, dead on, like, it is. The only thing I'm missing with here is the tattoos, which I guess I can go try to look, but I just kind of assumed the game wouldn't have good tattoos. Is there a tattoo parlor around me somewhere I didn't want to go to this one because it's not locked and I think the hack I have to do is hard so I never got really a chance to do it I can't remember let me see yeah no no it's not hard let me see I think this is one of those straightforward ones Okay, we got lucky. That was very straightforward. Um, I think she has one on her arm. Let's see. She has the Marilyn Monroe tattoo. I don't know if it's her left arm or not. I try to find something similar to that. Actually, it's her other arm, I'm thinking. That's pretty close. That's not really Marilyn Monroe, but... It's, 
It's probably the closest you're gonna get. Yeah, that's probably as close as you're gonna get. Can I get it on the other arm though? Entire right arm. I'm not sure which one it is though. I don't see it on here. Oh, entire. Oops, I didn't do it right. Uh, yeah, I know she got the tattoo removed, but at the time of this, she had it on here. Okay, they don't have it, so I'll just do the entire left arm. Alright, there we go. And hey, that's kind of like when she was getting it removed right there. Anyway. But yeah, that's all for this video, really. I'm really running out of things to do in this game. I didn't realize how much better Saints Row the third was. I haven't. I'm only like 10% into that game, and I already like it more this than this thing, one. He can fill it up. Thank you for the bike. Because everything in that game just feels better. Like motorcycles in this game feel. Po oh, that was cool. Motorcycles in this game feel pointless because you can like jump and fly everywhere. And weapons in that game feel pointless because you know. You got like powers to freeze people. I always win my arguments. Fighting in that game is pointless because you can just knock people out. The only thing that doesn't make sense is that in that game you can heal, but in this game you need to get health back. But look how strong I am. It's just, I know it's kind of cool. So expensive. It's like a different experience, but the vehicles and stuff and the parachuting, none of that's the same in this game because it's like you can fly. You don't. There's no danger. I don't know, I just, I like the Saints Row 3rd better, but anyway, I'm gonna stop ranting and being dumb and just move on now. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck me! You know, ah! weird. I didn't know you could do that. That's weird. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here, because I don't really know what else to do, so I'll see you guys on the next one.